We are so excited about the organizations that are participating in eLab. They represent a very diverse group who are all coming together to collectively discuss and have a dialogue around how to transform the system. And it's that level of integration and of dialogue that we think is going to make a difference. The issues with the, uh, with the power system, particularly in the U.S., but also globally, are increasingly complex. And looking across a diverse set of resources and engaging in a broad set of stakeholder dialogues will be critical to uh, finding the right solutions going forward. We need these kind of ideas to move forward the clean technology and get it into the marketplace sooner. So what I'm hoping to do is learn things that will help our advocacy at the state and federal level. When you take a, a very diverse group of individuals, uh, you get their ideas, you, through the spirit of cooperation, you try to resolve as best you can those ideas. You're going to have more uh, participation, you're going to have more innovation in technology, uh, and you're going to have deployment of, more deployment of sustainable uh, programs. Well, the uh, electric power system as a whole uh, is uh, changing pretty, pretty dramatically. And, uh, with uh, what RMI is do, trying to do with uh, eLab, uh, the whole uh, um, the idea of uh, convening all of the different stakeholders and developing a consistent vision for the industry is, uh, is a pressing need. The eLab event here has got high quality stakeholder participants, excellent leadership on the part of RMI, and uh, I think is well, well set up to be uh, an important contributor to, to the new ideas going forward. I'm looking to be here and show the people here what the experience is like to take a bold new move and how positive it is and the virtuous cycle that we are starting and how an organization can take this into account and be proud of it and rally across a matrix organization in order to make big changes to increase the supply and the demand for renewable energy.